Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Flamehead97 here, and I'm here for a collaboration rant video with Jack of Low Kick. And we're both going to be ranting on the rapper 50 Cent because more recently he was in the news where he was taking dabs at rapper Lil Kim's daughter because she has like some condition with her eyes or something like that. And 50 Cent was being disrespectful by taking dabs at Lil Kim's daughter. And I just think it's fucked up. So me and Jack will go kick her here to rain about 50 Cent and his actions. So let's gonna get started. So I personally think this is a really fucked up situation where 50 Cent is doing this. This isn't the only time though where 50 Cent said some dumb shit. He also made fun of someone who passed away. I think it's Michael K. Williams. I believe that was his name. I'm not sure, but I know his first name was Michael. But 50 Cent disrespected someone that's deceased and now he's taking dabs at a child. It's like, really dude? You're a fucking piece of shit. Seriously. You're a piece of shit, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You're taking dabs and disrespecting an eight-year-old girl? Get the fuck out of here. You're disrespectful. Seriously. You might be a good rapper, but as a person, you're a fucking scumbag. You disrespect the dead, and now you're disrespecting children because they have some kind of condition. It's like, it's like she can't even help it. Anyone that has these kind of conditions and all that, they can't help it. It's not their fault, so why in the fuck would 50 Cent be so damn disrespectful and disrespect an 8-year-old child? That's bullshit, and Lil' Kim did respond. To 50 cent and i definitely don't blame her because if someone did that to my child if i had a child and if someone did that to my child i would defend my child as well because Lil kim is in the right to defend her child and what 50 cent did to her child is despicable it's disrespectful and it's bullshit and very unnecessary so when i found out about this i wanted to make a video about it and i told some people on Messenger that I was going to make a video about it. So Jack will go kick said he'll be in this collab. So it's pretty awesome to be in this collab because fuck 50 Cent for everything he's done lately. Disrespecting a little girl like that. You don't fucking do that shit. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. How many hit songs and hit records you got. You don't disrespect dead and you don't disrespect children. Because children aren't old enough to defend themselves and the same thing goes with the deceased so yeah fuck 50 cent for this bullshit taking dabs on an eight-year-old child the hell's wrong with this dude man this dude ought to be ashamed of himself it's like what the fuck man Lil kim she roasted this motherfucker in her response to 50 cent i can't remember word for word how she responded because I did do some research on it but she did defend her daughter and of course any parent has the right to defend their child when they're being provoked and disrespected and made fun of so yeah fuck 50 cent for this bullshit I might like his music but I'm not gonna defend his actions because as a person he's a fucking scumbag piece of shit for all this bullshit you don't disrespect a child Especially children who have conditions like this that can't help it. So, yeah, 50 Cent is a fucking asshole. Fuck this son of a bitch. So, I'm just going to keep my part short because I really don't know what else to say. So, here's Jack Go Kick with his part. And once again, fuck 50 Cent. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Shaggle Gold Kick, and I'm here with the Flamehead 97. We're gonna be doing a video collaboration slash rant talking about 50 Cent taking a jab at Lil Kim's daughter. So essentially what happened recently is Lil Kim was on a remix of Megan Thee Stallion, and 50 Cent made a post on his Instagram page. Basically saying that Nicki Minaj needs to respond to what Lil Kim said about Nicki Minaj. And then 50 Cent said something about Lil Kim's eight-year-old daughter, saying that your daughter has a fucked up looking eye. And Lil Kim was basically trying to say that she wasn't dissing Nicki Minaj on the song. She didn't have any beef with her. 50 Cent claims that she was. So it seemed like 50 Cent was just trying to start shit and stir something up. I don't know if... Lil Kim's daughter has lazy eye like Forrest Whitaker or if she was born with something, I'm not sure. But 
when it comes to this situation and what 50 Cent did, I think 50 Cent is fucked up for what he did. 50 Cent is a fucking asshole and 50 Cent is a fucking douchebag. Fuck 50 Cent for this bullshit. It's like you want to sit there and stir up bullshit and stir up drama and whatever it is you want to do with Little Kim. I don't know what the history is. If they had beef before, I don't know what's going on there. But to involve someone's kid, especially when the kid's eight years old, you're a piece of shit for that 50 Cent. You're a fucking scumbag. Maybe you should get shot nine more fucking times. Do the whole world a goddamn favor. Because if you're the kind of person that wants to mock someone, like how before there was like an actor that died and he mocked them, mocked a dead person, and now you're making fun of an eight-year-old kid, you're a real fucking scumbag, 50. You're a piece of fucking shit. And aren't you in your damn 40s and you're acting like this? You're pathetic. Like, you're absolutely pathetic. Like, fuck you for this shit, 50 Cent. The nerve of you to talk like this about someone's kid. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're a fucking piece of shit. Fuck 50 Cent for this shit. He may be a good rapper and have some good music, but as a person, he's a fucking scumbag. Fuck him for this shit. How dare he would say this about an eight-year-old kid? How would you feel if someone said something about somebody in your family, 50? How would you feel about that? If the shoe was on the other foot, you probably wouldn't be too happy about it. And I saw that little Kim's husband or boyfriend, I'm not sure if he's married to her or not. His name is Mr. Papers. He said something about 50 Cent. And he said that, don't talk about my daughter involved with your comedy or something like that. And I honestly hope that if this guy ever comes face to face with 50 Cent, I hope he kicks his fucking ass. I hope he beats the shit out of 50 Cent. And what pissed me off is, in this situation, as well as what Mr. Papers said, I saw some 50 Cent fans, like, taking up for 50 Cent and on his side in the situation. It's like, you people are fucking pieces of shit. You're some fucking stan saying dumb shit like, you ain't gonna touch 50. 50's this, 50's that. Man, nobody's fucking untouchable. Straight the fuck up. How many people thought Suge Knight was a big bad guy? He got knocked the hell out by Akon's bodyguard. Nobody's invincible. Nobody's untouchable. Everybody can get touched. That's something Stitch has said in a video. Anybody can get touched. So it's like, I don't know why that some of these 50 Cent fans want to take up for 50 Cent and defend him for like talking shit about someone's kid. Like that's someone's fucking kid. 50 Cent shouldn't be doing that shit. And you got some 50 Cent fans justifying his behavior and giving Mr. Paper shit for saying something towards 50. And I hope Mr. Paper fucks this motherfucker up. I hope he beats the dog shit out of 50 Cent. 50 Cent needs to get his fucking ass whooped for this bullshit. And it's like, a lot of you 50 Cent fans, you think 50 Cent's so tough. I could point out some scenarios that makes 50 Cent's tough persona come into question. Apparently there was supposed to be some boxing fight or something to happen between Flo Rida and 50 Cent. Like 50 Cent said he would fight Flo Rida boxing wise or something. And then when Flo Rida responded and said that he would do it, 50 Cent didn't say anything back. He didn't even respond. What, is he afraid of getting his ass kicked by Flo Rida? Because Flo Rida was willing to do it and 50 Cent didn't say shit back to him at all. Or how about that story 50 Cent told where he said, I was scared that I almost had to fight Mike Tyson. Man, I wish Mike Tyson would have knocked this motherfucker out. So some of you 50 Cent fans that get off his dick, like I don't know the guy in real life. You know, maybe he does have some real street cred. I don't know. But you guys talk about him as if he's some untouchable, invincible person. Kids should be off fucking limits, you piece of shit. And it's like, you're associated with somebody that's had to deal with that exact same thing. Eminem, for example. You know how many times Eminem's daughter got dissed when she was younger, Eminem had to deal with that? And you would think 50 Cent being around Eminem and seeing how much Eminem's daughter got dissed when Eminem's daughter was young, you would think 50 Cent wouldn't do something like this. But he does. And it's like, man, Eminem had to put up with this shit. He had to put up with his daughter getting dissed. But I guarantee you Eminem won't say shit about this. I wish Eminem would say something to 50. Like smack upside the head and be like, what the fuck's wrong with you, 50? You're diss him. You know, somebody around 50 Cent needs to smack him across his head or say something to him. Tony Ayo, somebody. Somebody needs to say something to 50 Cent or punch him in the face or slap him for this bullshit. Because he's out of fucking line here. Something needs to happen to 50 Cent. He needs to get beat up. Someone needs to make him apologize for what he said because it's bullshit what he said here. Fuck 50 Cent for this shit. As a person, he's shitty. And there's other things I've seen 50 Cent do that I honestly don't like. Like, how about the fact that he had beef with Shine... And when he calls up Shine, he pretends to be someone else and he's not even himself when he talks to Shine. Like, seriously? Or how about when he had a conversation with Young Buck and then he releases the conversation a year later, even though they're supposed to be friends and brothers? It just seems fucked up to do. And also, another thing to add is some of you 50 Cent stands that want to defend 50 and attack Mr. Papers when it comes to the situation. If 50 Cent's a gangster and he has real street cred, 
Why was he hanging around Soldier Boy, who's not a real gangster? Why was he hanging around Takashi 6 9 who's not a real gangster? And 6 9s also a pedophile. Makes me question if you're a pedophile too, 50, hanging around 6 9 Soldier Boy, even though you diss Rick Ross and you're against him, you should work with Rick Ross. You should be collabing with that guy. Because clearly you like fake gangsters since you're around 6 9 and Soldier Boy, you were around those two. So it's just like, and then I think 50 Cent was trying to you know, in the past, mocking Ja Rule for singing on songs and stuff, and then 50 started doing that shit himself. Or like, what's some other shit we could say about 50 Cent? Like, how he still clowns on Ja Rule years later, and just how 50 Cent acts, and he just seems like a bully. He seems like he wants to start shit, and just pick fights with people, and just stir shit up. And it's like, dude, you're in your 40s now. Like, fuck 50 Cent for this shit. And you ain't even had a hit since I Get Money. This guy ain't had a hit song since I Get Money. 50 Cent is a piece of shit for this. Kids should be off limits. You don't involve people's family. You don't involve people's kids. And fuck all the 50 Cent stands that were on 50 Cent's side and defending him and basically being on his dick and defending him for what he did here and siding with him when it came to Mr. Papers. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? How could you side with 50 Cent? How could you defend a guy that's attacking and making fun of an eight-year-old kid? How would you feel if that was your eight-year-old kid? you change your tune pretty quickly, wouldn't you? I don't know, maybe you guys are so into 50 Cent that even if 50 was talking about your own kid, you probably would still defend him. Your kid could be sitting there crying if it was your kid, what 50 Cent said, you'd probably say, get over it, 50 Cent's a legend and he's amazing. That's probably some bullshit you stands would say because you're that fucked in the head. So yeah, there's really not much else I got to say about this, but I just think in general it's fucked up what 50 Cent's doing here. 50 Cent, that's another fucking low for you. This messed up little Kim had to had to deal with this. It just isn't right in general. And uh, 50 Cent is despicable as a person. I despise him as a person. I really do. Fuck 50 Cent. So all I gotta say in my part with this collab with the Flamehead 97. That's it for my part. Peace.